Hello everyone, I'm the Blackblade, and today I'm here to give you a fast guide on how to set different skins to your Steam. So I'm going to go on two skins because I recommend them and I'm using them, so that's why I have, and I know it's good. Uh, there's tons of skins out there you can choose to customize it, you can even make your own if you like to, with some work on learning how to do it. So let's go and straight into it. So as you can see, this is the default skin that looks how it usually looks, the screen. And you can go into your Steam settings and interface. And in here you have the default skin over here. If you click it, you can see the other ones. But in this case, you will probably won't have it if you don't have a skin yet. Because you have to download the skin to have one more. So as you can see, I have the myth of Steam. I have the Pixel Vision and the Pixel Vision 2. Pixel Vision 2... It's my own version, it doesn't really matter. Uh, default skin is the usual one, and Metal for Steam, I'll show you the other two in a second. Okay, so how do you actually get one to use for the Steam? So, for that, you'll need to go to a website most of the time, or a Steam group in some cases. It all depends on the skin itself. There's a group site that actually shows you about all kind of skins, so I'm going to hope to put the link in the description still out there. Uh, I'm going to put also a link to those two skins that I recommend that this site and on the Pixel Vision group, so you can download it if you so like. Okay, so first of all, Metal for Steam is a metal type version look for Steam. As you can see, this is how the clan actually looks like. And one of the really nice features I think they have, first of all, they changed completely the client. It doesn't look anything like it usually looks like. That's pretty cool. Uh, Pixel Vision keeps more the usual look and just changes a little stuff and makes it look nicer. But Metro actually changes completely the client. So as you can see here. As well, also they have their own program that gives you to actually change the colors of the client. So you can set all kind of cool stuff you like. But I'm not going to go into that. So to actually download it, you'll want to put, go to the metalforsteam.com. I'll put a link in the description. You press download, and that will send you to Divine Out in this case. And then you just press download again. It's going to download the zip. Okay, so just select wherever you want to download it, and press save. Okay, so that's one. Now on Pixel Vision, in this case, it has an actual group, and you just go to announcements, and from there you can download from Metafile or Dropbox. Uh, so, you know, if you want to keep up to date with the skin, you just join the group and look at an announcement about it. But also, one of the things you need to notice about skins, if you see a skin that wasn't updated for a very long time, you might not want to get it because it might not be updated with the client. Something that will make the skin look really bad and will mess up pretty much how it looks like. And I really don't recommend that because, well, it's bad. <laughs> and once I had it and I completely messed up everything I couldn't use I mean Steam was like looking bad. Okay, so after you download it, you'll simply want to extract it. So you're gonna extract both in the folders. Now on the Pixel Vision they usually give you an update file only and a full installation. I never really used the f update files only, I mean I don't see the points. I guess it's if you own, if you customize stuff or something. I usually just put anyway the whole full installation inside. Now fonts, I never did it, but it worked, so I didn't really care. On this site, I think you have how exactly set it up. Uh, the readme even has it. You can read that and see. I don't think you need me for that. If you want, to ask me and I'll make a video about how to set that if it's even needed. Um. So the actual thing you want is this folder, and you can see this is the actual skin thing. So all you want to do is simply copy, cut, or whatever the Steam skin into your Steam folder, wherever that's going to be. I don't know where it's going to appear, so in my case it's on my computer, the program file 86 Steam. It could be on C, F, whatever you put it in. So just go wherever it is, and inside the Steam folder you'll find there's a folder called Skin. Well, you go into that and post paste your new skin on yeah whatever. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so that's all you pretty much can do. It's the same thing with metal. I'm not gonna do it because there's no really point. I mean, 
you know I already have that version and I think you already got a point how to do it so you just need to put your new skin into there and after you do that you might need to reset steam I don't think it automatically change it but you'll see if it does show it you'll just go into here you go in here and you're going to see it here on the list so then if you want to change into it all you need to do is simply click on it and steam will then ask uh, after the after you choose the skin you want you press ok and steam will ask to reset if you press cancel from right it's not going to actually change it so you you know if you want to change the skin but you have to reset out the client okay so after I'm going to log in just remember myself next time. And by the way, yeah, if you didn't guess, this is my fake Steam account. So you can see the Steam client changed a lot. Like the border here is lower. It's more bluish color around. I guess there's more stuff. Um, <laughs> not really sure what else they added. Also, the big skin here looks much nicer. Um, yeah, okay, so this is Pixel Vision, as you can see. We changes all this as well. Okay, so now if we go into here, we can go now into Metro Skin. Okay, we start Steam. I see already the loading screen is of course different because this is for Metro. And this is Metro Skin, as you can already see. Completely new design, different settings all here. Your friend list looks different. I have no friends on this account. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty much all you need to know to set up your own skins. If you have any issues, problems, questions I didn't answer, new videos you need for something because I messed up here, post in the description, also in the comments on my description. And if you have any good site for skins, feel free to also comment that so other people can use that. Okay, so that's all guys. Hope it helped someone or something. If not, I'm gonna be really sad. I just wasted time. Uh, have a great time, game on, and see you around.